If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Beef Chief here and welcome to episode one of the trading from zero to one million coin series where I've got a fresh new account here, only 150 coins as you can see in the top left and we are going to use strictly trading to get us all the way up to one million coins. Now if you guys are excited for this series, you think it's going to be helpful or you're just enjoying the content, please do drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and comment down below your thoughts and what kind of stuff you want to see next so with all that said let's go ahead and let's just dive right in so obviously we're starting with only 150 coins and my go-to on a low budget is always mass bidding on those league sbc filters specifically those bronzes and silvers from the minor leagues so i don't think we can go over and actually tab but we can to the league sbcs here so what we're going to be looking to do is basically mass bid on bronzes and silvers from these minor leagues to start off like the Eredivisie, the mls you can see the mexican league the saudi league cards like that now what typically works for me right now is going to be mls bronzes this would be my go-to if i'm under like a thousand coins this would be my first look here so if i go mls bronzes as you can see here these cards right now sell they sell pretty quickly for 200 they basically insta sell and it takes about seven minutes for them to sell if they're just any old bronze here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to pick one up for 150 here to get us started off. And obviously this is really, really slow at the beginning. And the reason for that being, I can only go and bid on and pick up one card at a time here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go try to pick up a guy like a rare bronze here for 150. And basically I'm gonna do this over and over and over and just bid on these bronzes nonstop. And I'll be back with you guys in a second when we've kind of built the coins up a little bit it and i can show you how this process gets faster and faster as you get more coins all right boys we are back and as you can see we built the coin balance up a little bit we're sitting at around 2,000 coins right now and i just kind of want to run you through what i've been doing and what i'm going to continue to do to kind of get my coins up and hopefully get 50,000 coins in this episode before we wrap it up but basically what I've been doing is just continuing to bid on those MLS players. Now you can do this with any minor league league SBC. It's just that the MLS has been working for me. So why move away from it? So what I'm doing is bidding on these bronzes and silvers. I started out by just picking up a bronze for 150 because that's all the coins I had. Sold it on for 250. Then I could start bidding 200 on these silvers and trying to pick them up and selling them for 400. But essentially what I do is I just go into the transfer market as I showed you before. First thing I do, any bronze that I can bid on for 150, I go ahead and bid on for 150. And then if it's just a normal bronze, I list it up for 250 coins. Any bronze rare I can pick up for, for 200, I pick up for 200 and I sell it for 300 here as you can see. And then any silver here that I can pick up for 250, I pick up for 250 and I sell it for 400. And right now I'm just doing that over and over and over to just make some really easy coins here. So it's a bit of a repetitive method. A lot of people might not like it, but to get that first set of coins, it's kind of what you have to do to pick these cards up. And then I've got some cards on the transfer targets here I can show you as well. But this is really what I've been doing here. And as you get more coins, it gets way more efficient because at the beginning, I could only bid on one card and then I had to wait for that card, wait for myself to get it and then list it up and then wait for it to sell until I could get my coins back. But now that I've got a lot more coins, I can bid on a lot more cards at once and make a lot more coins. So as you get more coins, it just gets easier and easier to get more. Now, when I list these cards up, I am at the moment checking exactly what each card's price is because I do kind of need to squeeze out as many coins as possible as I can from these. So typically, if I'm doing this with a lot of coins, I'm not going to check the price of every single player. I'm just going to go ahead and list them up. But right now, as I really do need the coins, I am checking the price of each card and trying to get as many coins as possible. And it doesn't really have to be strict. I don't have to go through every single card and check what the price is, like every single one on the transfer market and check what the price is, but generally just try to get as close as possible 
to uh, to what their price is to get as many coins as possible. So that's kind of our grind right now. And I may jump around to some different leagues just to show you guys that you can do this in other ones. But for a little bit, I'm going to rock with the MLS because as you can see, it's working well for us. And I'm not really going to work move away from something that's working that well for me. So I'm going to continue to do this for a bit, maybe jump to another league when we get back. And we'll be back with, with you guys when we've got a bunch more coins here. All right, boys, we are back. And as you can see, the low budget filters have been cooking for us here. We're up to 51,000 coins, which was the goal for the episode. And just to show you the transfer list, I had to clear some items as we went because I'd sold way more than 100 items here to get up to 50K. But just to run through these, I mean, I did basically every league in the game at some point here to get up to 51,000 coins every league SPC there is now when it comes to these I mentioned you're just going to be looking at bronzes and silvers from the league SPCs that's literally all it is there's lists of them in the discord they're in the league SPC tab as you can go look at them now but just to run you through some of the filters I was doing so that you can see it on the screen and replicate it so I mean you can come to the leagues here and just look at bronzes and silvers from these leagues but I'll kind of run you through the main ones I was doing. So one of the big ones that probably got me 20, 30K here was I was looking at Silver Turkish League here. So if we look at this, last night when I was recording this, yeah, these were going about 300, 350 coins. And there was a span where nobody was on this filter. And I was winning card after card for 150 coins just really, really easily. So that was a big one for me. Um, another one I went to was Bronze and Silver Bundesliga players I found to be pretty easy to win here so i was looking at this here if we take a look wow these are down in price right now this is not bad at all for doing that league sbc uh so these are about 600 a piece so i was right now i'd pick these up about 500 and these weren't too bad to pick up either i mean as you can see a lot of open bids here within in within the next two to three minutes so not too bad there at all but yeah like overall there's you're just gonna find if you go through all these filters you're going to find something that's going to work for you at that time and that's really all i did and then i mean if i go over here i was also doing libertadores defenders that was a decent little one for me i believe i cleared all the libertadores players that i got though so if we take a look here these guys about 400 coins for the libertadores defenders and the nice thing about that is the normal libertadores cards are typically around 200 coins and a lot of people don't know that the defenders actually go for more so so they kind of list those cards up a lot cheaper than they should because they don't realize the defenders go for 400 while the rest of those cards are only going to go for like 200, 250 or so. So it's things like that that'll make you some easy coins. That guy was up on the market for 10 seconds and then no, and then I, I go on and he's gone. That's painful right there. But yeah, I didn't want to mix up the methods here because I just wanted to show you 0 to 50k. This is really what I would go for here. Just these low budget league SBC filters. And if we go through here, so I did Bundesliga, I did Turkish League, I did MLS, I did Championship, I did Serie A, I did, let's see, just Italian players, not the Italian League because of the champion, because of the, uh, the icon swaps, Italian stuff. I did the Saudi League. I did... Uh, Let's see here. Are there any other ones? So I hit so many. I did the Air Divisi. Any other ones here? Again, Port uh, Italian there again. So I did so many of these low budget filters here to make coins. So we're going to be moving in some more interesting stuff in the next video, not just these low budget filters. And then we have the bronze MLS players that we were doing at the beginning right there, as you can see. So not super interesting stuff here just kind of repetitive and you didn't get to really see a lot but this is just kind of emphasizing that point if you're under 50k you're really just going to be bidding on like bronze and silver cards and trying to make coins like that and then after that you can do a little bit more interesting methods and then once you get 100k that's when you can really start diving in to some serious trading but that is the first episode of the series guys up to 50,000 coins here very simple very easy that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.